Let me see the hands of anyone tonight who, uh, after you woke up this morning, uh, anyone who brushed their teeth. Wow. Okay. Now l let me see the hands of everyone who has not yet brushed your teeth today. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, well, it's good to have some honest people. Um, <clears throat> so what is a ritual? What is a ritual? It's an interesting question. I get in, I get in the car and I put on my seatbelt. A little ritual, maybe. Maybe it's more of a habit. Monday through Friday when I eat breakfast, half a cup of homemade granola with about a dozen raisins and eight cranberries and a, th a, third, of a, a third of a banana, you know, sliced properly, about a teaspoon of chia seeds and a couple of teaspoons of whey powder and some honey and then cover all that with some rice drink, about a half a cup. So you may ask yourself, you know, what's the difference between a ritual and obsessive neurotic uh, behavior? <laughs> ritual is a way that you and I take this freedom that we are, and we invest some uh, intentionality, and some conscious awareness in a practice, in a practice. I'm going to practice a certain relationship to life. Rituals, which one of their key functions can be to connect us with our depth. And isn't it, isn't it interesting because we have conscious relationships that we invest an intentional orientation toward. We have so many of those in relationship to our bodies, right? And in relationship to our minds. And in relationship to our social connections. And our political affiliations. But isn't it interesting, isn't it interesting that while <clears throat> we invest this intentionality and this conscious awareness into the management of our teeth, we sometimes are a little weak at managing this interior life and all of the interior stories that hold all of our relationships to life that in fact manifest as everything you and I know, do, and be. We're really great at investing this intentionality and this freedom and this conscious awareness in the management of our teeth, but sometimes we fall a little short when it comes to managing this relationship with the ultimate encounter. This relationship with the depth that I know first and finally I am. Isn't it interesting? What if I were to practice being in my life? Being in all of my life? Being in the depth of my life?